dwarves that go swimming with little hairy women. <laughs> My friends, it is time. It is time for the Lord of the Rings challenge yet again. Guys, you have no idea for like the past like hour. I I don't know what happened. I honestly don't know what happened to my OBS settings. But for some reason, I could not record this challenge with my OBS. Like I kept like getting all this lag and all these problems and frame rate drops, but I solved it. I don't know what I did, but I solved it. And here we are, it's the Lord of the Rings challenge, I'm feeling good, I'm motivated, it's 3.30 in the morning, let's do it. So, serious question guys, on the last uh, Lord of the Rings video, I talked about the Ent and the Ent Wife, who here, raise your hand, whoa, who here, ra raise your hand, went and listened to the Ent and the Ent Wife song on YouTube, and you were like, and you just shed like a manly tear. Who did? Who shed a manly tear for the first time in their life listening to the Ant and the Ant Wife? Because I know there's some of you guys. I know there's some of you. The song is so good. Yeah, I did it. I got a wand. Cool. I don't care. Come, she lob. Carl Boren. What like Carl Boring, bitch? That's right. Fucking roasted, fam. Fuck my shit up. Gandalf, I know that you're like a wizard and shit, and I know that you're like super powerful, and like, I know that we're kind of dealing with a crisis right now with our entire like city being half underwater, but goddammit, Gandalf, those fucking crabs, those piece of shit crabs, they think they're so fucking cool, like swimming around underneath the dock, go kill those motherfuckers, put them in their place where they belong, that's right, give me that crawler meat, sure do like getting meat. Some of you guys have, like, picked up on, like, my habits of, like, the things that I say, which I think is hilarious, to be honest. Like, I, I never noticed until you guys started pointing it out, like, in this video and other videos, that I tend to say, I like it. A lot. I like it. I think, I, I think that's pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> Wait, I have to get Fitzsimmons Mead. You look like a Fitzsimmons kind of guy. Oh, healing potions. Nice. It's down in the cellar. Oh. Shit. This is no cellar at Menethil Harbor. It is a tomb. Dude, I freaking love mead, yo. Like, I don't like beer. Like, th I have never drank a beer that I've enjoyed, and I've tried so many different beers. I just don't like beer. But mead? Mead is so good. I love mead. I have not drank a single mead that I did not enjoy. So, I like mead. That's right. I'm like a dwarf. Give me, like, a cool-ass staff, you, like, hip tip. I remember when I was, like, a wee little laddie, my father said to me, he was like, Hey, little Nixium, do you want to watch a cool movie? And I was like, yeah, I want to watch a cool movie. And he was like, okay. And then he put in fucking Jaws into the VHS player. And I was like, wow, this movie is, like, terrifying and is going to scar me for the rest of my life and make me terrified of the ocean. And then a week later, we went to the fucking beach and I refused to get in the water because I was terrified of the ocean. And to this day... I am terrified of the ocean. I think it was the fact that my father, you know, he showed me that movie when I was a kid. And it was also because of the fact that, th this is probably the bigger reason, I almost drowned twice when I was a kid. So, that was uh, pretty uh, traumatizing. So, yeah. I remember when I was younger, like, I couldn't even, like, swim in a swimming pool by myself because I thought a shark was going to get me. <laughs> it was great. On the paint. <laughs> Look at these little kids. Gimlock. Gim. Wait. Room. Room. Denal. Is that supposed to be like her son? Okay. This chick's name is Darina, like Room Denal, and this dude's name is like Gruham Room Denal. And there's this little black kid over here, and his name is Gimlock Room Denal. Um, I don't think that's your son, buddy. <laughs> Dude, holy shit. There's, like, fucking, like, cuckolding, like, in World of Warcraft. Like, how cool is that? <laughs> Dude, I remember these quests right here to kill these murlocs, like, back pre-cataclysm. These quests were so terrifying, because these murlocs did so much damage. And I think, if I remember correctly, they healed themselves. So you'd be, like, just about to kill one, and then they would heal themselves back to full health. It was great. I liked it. Get out of here. I got a thick murloc scale. 
Give that murloc my thick dick. Oh, Danny boy. The pipes, the pipes are calling. This was another quest that was like a big pain in the ass because like all the mobs were like on the ships and like the pathing was terrible back in Vanilla WoW. So you had to like go onto the ship like in order to aggro the dudes. Otherwise they would just evade everything. And like when you went on the ship, like all the mobs were so close to each other, you aggroed like five at once. So you needed a group of like four people to do this quest. So good. Such a better time. It's like the bugs made the game like more like it forced you into groups more often. It's pretty cool. I like it. Remember, Cursed Sailor, true courage isn't knowing how to take a life, but knowing when not to take a fucking life. But I'm about to take your life because you a bitch. Why does the ghost swim? Can the why can't the ghost like just float through the water? It looks so silly. Blizzard, you need to fix your game. The boat is shut. It was made by those who are dead. And the dead keep it. Shit. Dude, Captain Friend Guy. I'm here to, like, kill you and take your head. If you don't mind. Target not in la- mm. Wait. Mm. Mm. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man. Bullin. Dude, man. This guy, I mean, he's alright, but he's definitely not as cool as me. Those are some pretty ice puns, if you know what I mean. You know, because of this challenge, I've been, like, rereading, like, The Lord of the Rings, like, in my free time. Which, I don't really have that much free time, but whenever I do get, like, a minute... <gasps> Damn it! <laughs> whenever I do, like, get some free time, though, I, uh... I sit back and I, like, read, like, some from The Lord of the Rings. I'm currently still reading through The Fellowship of the Ring, and I'm actually gonna hearth. And, uh... It's good, man. It's a lot of fun. I missed reading. So I'm glad that this, uh, challenge has kind of gotten me back into it, because I haven't had the pleasure of reading in a while. I've been working too much. For a moment, Frodo stood gaping. Then, in desperation, he began a ridiculous song that Bilbo had been rather fond of, and indeed rather proud of, for he had made up the words himself. It was about an inn, and that is probably why it came into Frodo's mind just then. Here it is in full. Only a few words of it are now, as a rule, uh, as a rule, remembered. There is an inn, a merry old inn, beneath an old gray hill. And there they brew a beer so brown, but the man in the moon himself came down. One night to drink his fill. Yay, level 28. I've come so far, and in the end, it's gonna actually matter. This is actually one of my favorite places in all of World of Warcraft right here, like this little like dwarf house in the windmill. Because back in Vanilla WoW, when I, you know, first came to the wetlands, my view distance was, like, super low. Because I had a terrible computer. So I could never see this thing until I was, like, right on it. And when I discovered it, like, through, like, the, the fog of, uh, you know, my terrible view distance, it was like, whoa, look at this cool, like, little house out here. So, I like it. I like finding stuff like this in WoW. A marshy crocolis hide. It's all wet nasty and soggy. It's like my vagina. This wetlands crocolisk really needs to chill out, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, so one thing that I should probably talk about is I've been thinking about the, uh, the Skyrim challenge. Like, the Skyrim Lord of the Rings challenge. And, you know, I've been looking at, like, a ton of Skyrim mods, and I've been kind of writing down some ideas for, like, how to do the challenge. But there really isn't, like, a good way to do, like like, this kind of challenge in Skyrim, um, from what I've seen and what I've played with, like, you know, messing around with things. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create, like, a whole new challenge, but I am gonna do it in Skyrim, um, because a lot of people were like, oh yeah, yeah, Skyrim, like, do a Skyrim challenge. They were really gung-ho about that, so it's coming, but I don't know if I'm gonna do a Lord of the Rings challenge in Skyrim. Unless I can think of another, like, creative idea. So I've been sitting here trying to think of, like, a new kind of challenge. Something that's... Something that I can do in Skyrim. Like, I want there to be a clear objective, though. I don't want it to just be like, oh, you know, beat the game. And, like, that's it. Like, beat the main storyline. I don't want that to be the objective. I want it to be something unique. You know, something cool. Like, uh... I don't know. I don't know. 
A lantern. <gasps> A lantern. I did not sell that wand either. So I could actually use that lantern and that wand together. That would be cool. Oh yeah, that actually reminds me. A very common question that I've gotten like over on Twitch in regards to the challenge is uh, like if you are a mage, for example, can you wield a wand and an offhand and they both be green? Or if you're a warrior, you know, can you, you know, dual wield two green weapons? And the answer to that is yes. Your weapons can be green, but they can only be green. Um, unless you're a blood elf, then you can use, you know, the blue, the blue ranged weapon. Look at this guy running at me. Thinks he's so cool. Oh, whoa, this is a, oh shit, this is a rare. Oh, nice. He's scary. What am I getting? Oh, gizmos. Okay. I thought I was like picking up like these, I don't know what I was picking up. They looked like little dildos or something. <laughs> Dude, ever since I was a kid, the gnolls in World of Warcraft, they remind me of the goblins from, like, Moria. Just because they've got, like, they make those, like, <laughs> like, noises whenever they, like, attack you or whatever. I mean, listen to the goblins from Moria. Listen. Does that not remind you of, like, the silly little gnolls from World of Warcraft? You know they do. Kind of. A little bit. All right, maybe they don't, but they do for me. Look at this, like, Bibbly Bon Chibbly, like, not doing the Lord of the Rings challenge. Wearing all this green gear. Who do they think they are? They think they're so cool, but they're not. Check this out. Boom. Boom. Dude, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Remember when Gandalf had, like, a little tiny magic wand that had a terrifying skull on the front of it in the movies? I remember that. Look how cool I look. All right, my friends. Well, I'm going to sit down by this cozy fire. My friends, that is it for this episode. The journey will continue very soon. I'm almost level 30. We're getting closer and closer to Mount Doom, even though technically we're walking away from it. But we're getting closer, and uh, I'm excited, man. I am excited to cast the One Ring into the fire. The Lead Band of the Eagle. Holy shit. All right, guys, thank you for watching. As always, always a pleasure to come and record a Lord of the Rings episode and release it to you guys. And if you like the video, give it a like, all that crap, and I don't know what to say. So I guess I'll just see you guys later. All right? All right. I'll see ya.